Hi, I'm Joshua Kimball, and this is my vloggins. Uh, I've been a illustrator and graphic designer for over 15 years, and an art director for over six, going on seven. And that's actually where I'm heading right now, is to where I work as an art director. And uh, this is the vlog I do uh, to just kind of keep myself on track and talk about art and other things. Um, but mainly also just make sure I'm being productive as an artist um, on my own personal projects. Because on top of being an art director and a graphic designer and an illustrator, I also uh, am a cartoonist, and so I do uh, graphic novels like Two Stories, Book One, which is available right now from Amazon, and that's a story, a very personal story that I've written and hand-lettered, hand-inked, and am now able to hopefully hand to you in print uh, from Amazon.com. So yeah, um, with all the plugs and stuff out of the way, uh, let's just talk. So, I am feeling pretty good. Like, uh, yesterday I, uh, got a lot done. I finished two panels for the pitch project, um, which is a project I'm doing with my sister that I have about a page and three panels left to do, and then I can get back on track to working on book two of two stories. And then outside of that, um, I also uh, managed to finish the third song, and I'm actually pretty happy with how that came out. Um, I also am kind of hoping to include in this, um, and maybe it will do it toward the end or whatever, uh, the song that my son uh, tracked. So maybe I'll try to get both of them on there. The one I finished last night, and then this crazy song that my son recorded uh, where he like hummed the Final Fantasy theme with just like just pressing keys on the MIDI uh, pad just to like make like the craziest song in the universe. And it's pretty awesome. Um, it, it sounds pretty mathy and, and intense. So yeah. So there's that. Um, so I'm on my way to work and uh, and I am thinking about things that I need to do as well as like just some art stuff. So I, I'll also say like if you guys haven't yet, make sure you're watching the Indie Review Show. Uh, the IRSAgency.com is the website where Corey Kerr and I um, post our reviews for all sorts of different indie books. And uh, we had Gary Hodges the cartoonist behind um, Dinosaurs vs. Mars Bots and a uh, really talented cartoonist, but he also joined us to, to talk about Tardy's uh, World War One comic, and it was pretty epic, um, so I'm, I'm very, very glad we were able to do that and kind of review that, and also to find out a little bit about Tardy and his work. And I definitely will be uh, having to pick up some of his work because it's just pretty incredible. Um, so I recommend you guys check that out and see if it's something you'd be interested in. I feel like as cartoonists and artists, it's really important for us to not lose touch with the thing that made us fall in love with comics in the first place. And that's the whole purpose of the Indie Review Show, which is, uh, you know, again at irsagency.com. It's like a way for us to uh, highlight different books that have inspired or impacted us as artists and um, and talk about uh, what we can pull from that work for our own work, which, which I think is really helpful. So, so yeah, so that's basically where we're at um, on that, and I feel pretty good about that. So now I'm basically heading to work and I am uh, <clears throat> a little bit tired, still fighting um, pretty bad allergies. But at the, at the end of the day, like, there is nothing that feels quite as good as, as uh, checking things off the list of things to do. And, uh, and I think for people like me who are like highly productive and we want to be doing our own personal stuff, I have to say, it feels good to be creating and making 
Um, and, and I feel like there's this sweet spot or zone that uh, allows you to create and make. And it's interesting because when that wave comes, um, like I, I also think it's it's important to make sure you're balancing it so that you don't burn out. Um, and that's basically my biggest concern right now is like I feel highly productive. I feel good about what I'm getting accomplished. But I also know myself enough to know that I need to be really cautious not to burn out because when you're doing creative work and you get in that zone, you can write it for a very long period of time if you sustain it with your health. But if you like go beyond your own capacity for, for too long, uh, it can really wear on you and have like physical impacts um, as well as like mental impacts and stuff. So I just realized that today that like I was up way too late last night and I'm a night owl, but it was like I, I, I wound up uh, doing a live stream, like an after party for the IRS, which is on my channel. It's probably the last video posted if you're curious to see it. And it was really fun. And it was like hanging out and it, it did enable me to get another panel done, uh, which is like one more than I needed to hit for that day. But afterwards, I also just had trouble sleeping, so instead I tracked the rest of my song. And so I'm probably running on like four or five hours of sleep, which is not healthy and not good. Um, so what I probably need to do, if I can, is like when I get home, possibly like nap for a little bit, and, uh, and then wake up and do uh, my exercises and all of that fun stuff. Um, you know, in, in order to kind of maintain my uh, workflow and my health and stuff. Um, I also am doing a voice for Jim Lou Hans uh, cartoon, his latest one. Um, and I'm actually pretty excited about it. It's it's a nerdy thing, but it's like I'm doing the voice for a, uh, a cool pastor, <laughs> which is like basically like the, uh, the pastor who thinks he's down and And, um, and that's pretty funny. So I'm hoping I do an okay job because I'm not much of an actor and I'm definitely not a, like a voice actor. Um, and, but honestly, like if, if, you know, uh, if you guys aren't familiar with Jim's work, definitely look him up on YouTube, but Jim Lujan's hilarious. So it's like, Hey, if I can be a part of one of his projects and he wants me in on it, I'll do it because it's fun and it's funny. And I know that the, the final product will be a pretty silly, um, hilarious uh, little animation. And so I'm very excited about it. But, uh, but yeah, so that's on my things to do. That's going to be Wednesday night. Tonight we have Bible study, uh, which is pretty awesome. Um, and the group that's doing that are just like some close friends and some family members. Uh, we all just kind of... Um, have felt very frustrated with the politics in the church um, in, in a lot of our local churches and so we've just kind of started our own uh, group like it's like a support group almost for Christians who just don't like subscribe to like the, um, the kind of right wing talking points um, and, and co-opting of Christianity and so so that's tonight, and uh, I'm looking forward to that. Um, and then I also tonight want to try to do um, probably about a panel, if I can, of my comic. I think for music, I'm good for the month, although if I feel inspired, maybe, but I, I think uh, I knocked that out for the month, which is great, because uh, my goal is to try to have like a 10-song album by the end of the year. And uh, that'll put me right on track because it's like, um, yeah, it's still March, I think. I think it's still March. I can't even tell. Um, let's see. So, so that should do it for that book or bleh, that book. What am I talking about? I'm definitely very sleepy. 
Um, so that should do it for the things that, uh, that need to be done other than I also have a client, a freelance client, and I need to do a little bit of freelance work for her. And I'm not quite sure when I'll be able to work that in, but I definitely want to. Um, and that should be pretty fun too. It's a, a client that I've had for a long time. She hires both Maya and I for a lot of different projects and uh, is just consistent and, and pays well and gives us a lot of creative freedom. It gives really good uh, direction and feedback um, and honestly gives some pretty good revisions too. Like anytime she's had revisions, they actually make the work better. Um, so she's a really good client and I, I tend to not take on a ton of freelance, um, especially because I really wanna focus on book two of two stories. But this is one of those clients that's an exception where it's like when you have like these long, uh, loyal clients, uh, you don't want to burn those bridges. And also, you know, it helps generate a little extra income um, for us during a year where we've seen our income pinched a little bit because of uh, because of the, the COVID uh, scenario. Although surprisingly, on that note, like I am, I am surprised, but like the hit that we took financially hasn't been as bad as it could have been. And I think it's partially because my wife, who's a kid's book illustrator, has just been endlessly picking up kid's books. Um, so I think like the entire year, whenever she finishes a kid's book, it's like she gets another kid's book job. And uh, that uh, extra income has really helped supplement our income and, and, and make up for the financial hit we would otherwise be, you know, taking pretty, pretty hardcore. I'll also say it's raining. Um, <coughs> it's raining in California right now. And uh, it's it's actually a pretty nice drive um, on my way to work. And, and uh, I enjoy the rain because it, it reminds me of... Um, when I was a kid, like whenever it would rain at school, that was like the ultimate time for creativity because often you'd be stuck in the classroom, but classrooms usually had a lot of art supplies. And so you'd just like, you know, at least for me, that was, that was like optimum dry, drawing conditions where you're stuck inside during recess and, uh, and having to draw. So anytime I'm, I'm around rain, as long as it's not like to the extent that it was when I lived in the Northwest, where it was just too much rain, like I, I don't miss that. Like I don't miss three fourths of the year raining, but I will say like, I still do have a part of me that loves rain and uh, enjoys that. And I think that's part of why is like, because it just reminds me of uh, as a kid, like the, the creative out of the box kind of thinking you would almost be forced to do during like recess and stuff when you're, when you're younger. Um, so yeah, so there's that going through my mind. And, uh, and then other than that, just, um, I, I'm, I'm pretty optimistic about two stories. Like, um, it's, it, people have been picking up copies so far. I've heard really good feedback on it. And so that's been really encouraging. Um, and I am like really eager, uh, like my vaccine, I think will be fully effective for the first shot, uh, next weekend. And then from like a month from, uh, from like early May, um, we'll be able to get that second shot and be like fully vaccinated. So my hope, uh, once I know I'm fully vaccinated is going to be to look at different, um, conventions and live events maybe start booking some book signings and stuff at, at bookstores if they're open um but like trying to do more of an active role of uh actively promoting in-person sales and stuff which i which i think should be pretty fun i don't know what turnouts are going to be like for those types of events um but I'm imagining as people get vaccinated and that starts to kind of spread across the, uh, uh, you know, society in general, like I think things are going to start opening up and that's going to open up other possibilities for promoting my book because uh, it has been a bit of a slog 
um, having a lot of those traditional book promotion uh, methods or whatever like kind of held back for a little bit. So I'm excited about that. Um, and, a, and a little intimidating because it's been a long time since I've done a convention or even done in-store signings or anything like that. I actually at some point, because of that, do need to like make like a banner or something. Uh, like one of those pull-up uh, banners. Um, I don't know if that's what that's called. It's like a marquee. I don't, I don't even know if a marquee is right. It's just basically like a big poster on fabric. I think that is a banner. It just kind of folds into like a little metal thing. Um, but it would be good to, uh, to order one of those and design one of those for uh, whenever I do an event because it just makes it a little bit more official when you have something like that. Um, let's see. So that that's all interesting and kind of on the wings and, and definitely something I'm excited about um, so let's see here what else I am just enjoying the rain I'm kind of enjoying the like zen vibe of like uh, like everything starts getting kind of green and lush like in weather like this and it's interesting because it's like you can really see spring um, which is which is fascinating for, for this area because usually it looks like a almost like a desert wasteland outside so so yeah so anyhow I'm on my way to work and I'm just thinking about all of those things but I but part of why I do this and I've talked about this before it's like mentally triaging like figuring out like what are the core things because there's all these things I'd like to do um what's the most urgent so right now to me the most urgent would be finishing these pitch pages so I definitely no excuses need to get uh, one panel uh done at least a minimum for that pitch project um because it would be great to get that off my plate. Um, and then I also need to um, definitely start the freelance stuff. And we need to do Bible study. <coughs> so I think like between, um, between those three things, that's probably pretty much all I'm going to be able to do today. Um, and then of course post this vloggins, which I hope you guys are enjoying these vlogs. I actually really dig being able to kind of check in, uh, and keep in touch with uh, my uh, crew and community on YouTube. Um, I really enjoy live streaming. It would be fun maybe tomorrow night, or tonight I should say, um, and I've said this on a few streams and wasn't able to because we had family in town, but since family's not in town, uh, it might be possible to do like a live stream tonight and just kind of hang out with some artists um, while at least getting uh, some, some work done and, and hard work done and stuff, which I, which I think would be really fun. Um, but priorities are the panel, the... Uh, freelance illustration um, and then that, that should about do it uh, it should be pretty fun it's like making like a paper doll kind of thing where it's like a figure that you can kind of put like brads in, in, into the paper to kind of attach all the limbs and stuff of the figure um, it actually sounds fun it's like a paper craft project that I, that I get to make for a client and that's one thing I'll say, too, that I think is, is pretty uh, underrated sometimes by those of us who work professionally in art, is, like, every once in a while you get these jobs where you're like, I'm being paid to do paper craft? Like, like you know, kids do that stuff for fun. So it's, it, it's kind of interesting, but it's like I think sometimes when we're 
working, at least for me, when I work professionally as a creative for so long, I can kind of forget how fortunate I am to do what I do and how fun what I do is. Um, it's just a really fun way to make a living. Where it's like, hey, my, my project is to make a paper craft figure that you can cut out, put together. That's one of my freelance jobs. I mean, that's, that's great. It's exciting. Um, all right, I think other than that, I'm, I'm about at work. I, th I think we made some decent content here. I will say, just as a question uh, to my viewers, um, and then, you know, I'll probably play my song, unless, like, on the way home, there's, like, more, something more pre pressing it that, uh, that pops into my head that for, for more vloggings. Um, but yeah, so for people uh, watching this, like, who are creatives, um, number one, uh, is what you do for a living fun? Like, are you having fun being creative? I hope so. Um, I'm starting to really enjoy that. Uh, just the idea of, like, this thing we do for a living is fun. It's, it's a pretty cool job, and, and it's actually pretty rare job and it's kind of a um yeah it's just just a thing worth noting that like what we do is fun uh and then number two like do you guys get that way when it rains i mean maybe you live in an area where it rains all the time and it's impossible to get that feeling but uh do you guys have similar memories of like when you were a kid like during recess um when it would like rain was that, like, creative time for you as well? Uh, because, like, for me, it just makes me want to get, like, craft paper and, like, start cutting out cool things and and uh, working on, like, little art projects as a kid. So, anyhow, uh, that being said, I'm going to be playing you either af after this or maybe after the vlog uh, that I record on my way home if there's any more I'm going to record. But I am going to eventually be playing you uh, the final unmastered version of the song that I finished last night. I can't tell what I'm seeing Eroding visions I can't tell what I'm seeing And all these maps we bought Are useless because we forgot And all these maps we bought Are useless because we forgot Visions, I can't tell what I'm seeing. 
And all these maps we bought are useless because we forgot And all these maps we bought are useless because we forgot